You know, we all want a discount in life, right? A cheaper price, a good deal on something. And most of the time it's okay. But if there's one thing you don't want a discount on, it's plastic surgery. You don't mess with your face, your body, your hair, and look for a discount on it, especially in a different country. Yeah, I'm going to, uh, me, Chris, and Dom are going to Turkey in December getting our hair done. I was just going to ask you about that because I heard a lot of people are going to Turkey now and it's actually like working out for people. Like it's looking good. Oh yeah, it's really good. Well, Noah went to the same place. Noah Hamilton went to the same place we're going. So there's this hair transplant clinic, which I shouldn't call a clinic because it's really not. I would consider it more of a mill. The difference is a clinic does hair transplants. The doctor does most of the work and he's got technicians that help him. But a mill is where you don't even meet the doctor and it's just technicians fucking with you and how dangerous that is on so many different levels is a video in itself which i'm not going to get into here the point of the video is this there's this clinic that reached out to the two bodybuilders bumstead and valer yeah how much is that free what do you mean it's free oh they just want you to promote it yeah they hit us up it's a place called now hair time they'd hit us up me and chris up a few times over the years and you know want to do a collaboration like they'd fly us out and you know do the surgery and all that they're like listen We'll give you a free transplant, come to Turkey. We'll give you a free flight, uh, free hotel, free food, free everything. All you got to do is shout us out on, on social media. And, you know, a lot of people are going to Turkey doing different kinds of surgeries. And like I was saying in the beginning, you don't mess around and look for the cheapest deal when it comes to your face, your body, your hair, because you only got one chance. And once you're cut, you're cut and there's no coming back. Now, hair transplants in themselves... It's a completely different type of surgery. It's more of an art than it is a surgery. And not every doctor can do it and it requires extreme skill, extreme experience to make it look natural. I mean, you want a natural result. You don't want to look like you have a Chia pet on your head. So the reason why I know so much about transplants and different medication to maintain your hair is because as a kid, I researched the hell out of everything from back in the 90s till now. I know all the different methods, all the different surgical procedures, the direction the hairs are supposed to go in, how many hairs are supposed to go per graft, where they're supposed to go on the head. I've done so much research and the reason why is because I love my hair since I was a kid. So if I ever needed anything, I would have the proper knowledge and I would know where to go. So Turkey, I mean, yes, there are some good doctors in Turkey. I'm not trashing Turkey, all of it. But 95% of the places there are hair mills. 5% of them are actual doctors who do the surgeries and you can get rice results. Now with those mills, the biggest problem with them is this, and I'm gonna to try to explain this as easy as I possibly can. When you go get a hair transplant, right? You don't want to do, and in this country, there's no ethical doctor that would do more than two to 3,000 grafts per session, which would take an entire day to do. And the reason being is, is because if something happened, if the surgery didn't work, if you didn't get a good result, at least it's only one to 3,000 grafts, and it's not the entire donor area that you have, because usually the human head has around 7,000 grafts that you could use to place in other areas. So if you go to Turkey, and they're doing huge sessions there. They're doing five, I've seen 6,000 in one day, okay? So just think about this. In this country, they're doing one to 3,000 in one day. Over there, they're doing five, 6,000 graphs in one day. So now the danger with that is this. You go to Turkey, right? So Chris goes to Turkey, Valera goes to Turkey. They go get 5,000 graphs, right? They take it from all over their head. They come back, they get a shitty result. Now there's no donor left because they went and they took everything from behind the head all of it for future surgeries and everything and did it in one session so it's a huge danger in doing that so regardless if you're getting a free surgery there's so much risk involved and i can't even cover it all in one video because this video will be 30 minutes but the main point is bumstead valer i don't care that you're getting a free hair transplant you're getting a free flight free food free everything right you have to weigh your options and, and you've got to see the risk and reward to see if it's worth it. Because if you're going to go and have 5,000 hairs transplanted, you come back, you're not having a good result, you're done. You ain't never getting hair back on your head. So even though I don't suggest going to Turkey and doing a, a hair transplant, if you're going to go, at least get a small session as a test and see if you like the results, see if it looks natural. There's a lot of factors involved that you probably don't even know what it takes to get a natural result uh, doing a hair transplant. So I suggest going and getting a small procedure, see if you like it, 
And if so, go back again. But again, I don't recommend going outside the country. Stay in the country. Yeah, you're going to probably pay quadruple the price. But you know what? When it comes to plaques of surgery, hair transplants, to me, it's not worth messing around. So I hope you guys uh, like this video. I have a lot more content as far as hair stuff that I've been wanting to talk about. And I thought this was a good opportunity. Well, now hair, whatever, whatever it's called. I'll also be happy to promote your product if you get my hair back. You'll need two million fucking transplants. <laughs>